Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you the simulation of conformal antenna using HFSS. To begin with, first let us create a rectangular insert fed planar antenna and for that, create all the project variables required here. To do that, just click on this project, select project variables and here you can add all the variables. Let me first add $WP. which is uh, 39 millimeters dollar LP that is 29 millimeters dollar W F 3.012 millimeters dollar LF 14 millimeters dollar L INS 10 millimeters dollar W INS 5 millimeters dollar H 1.6 millimeters dollar T 0 0.035 millimeters then finally the width of the ground and length of the ground that is dollar W G dollar W P plus six times dollar H and length of the ground dollar LG which is equal to dollar LP plus dollar LF minus dollar LINS plus three times dollar H Now click apply and OK. Now all the variables required for creating the geometry are added. Now let us start creating the geometry. In that, as a first step, let me just create a cylinder on which we are going to conform our antenna. So to do that, first make sure here you are selecting ZX plane and draw a cylinder here. A cylinder is drawn. You just give the position values for it as 0 comma 0 comma minus dollar r minus dollar h then you give the radius value as dollar r and height as dollar lg click ok you can see here a cylinder is created which is uh, little offset from the origin. Now create the ground plane of the antenna by clicking on draw rectangle and placing it somewhere here. You can just label it as ground, you can give color, then you can give the position values as minus dollar wg by 2 comma 0 comma minus dollar H. X size you can give dollar WG and Y size as dollar LG. You can just click OK. You can see now a uh, ground plane is created okay in a plane perpendicular to Z axis. Now let us confirm this ground plane to the cylinder. To do that just select here cylinder click on uh, the ground plane right click go to edit select here surface and click on wrap sheet you can see here now the ground plane is wrapped to the cylinder or it is conformed to the cylinder now right click somewhere on the screen and select faces click on this ground plane right click go to edit 
click on surface and select here create object from the face an object is created let us rename it as substrate you can change color to some green color click ok next apply and ok now right click on this substrate go to edit click on surface you just go to thicken sheet and here you can enter the thickness as 1.6 millimeters and click ok you can observe now the substrate is created with a thickness of 1.6 millimeters now we can create a radiating element with feed to do that click on rectangle just draw a rectangle here you can label it as feed select the color as brown click ok then here you can give the position value as minus dollar wf by 2 comma 0 comma dollar t and x size you can give it as dollar wf y size as dollar lf then click ok you can see here a feed line is created next let us create the patch by drawing a rectangle here label it as patch change the color and then click ok you can give the position values as minus dollar w p by 2 comma dollar lf minus dollar lins comma dollar t x size you can give dollar w p and y size as dollar l p then you can click ok you can see here a patch is created here now we have to make the inset to do that let us select here a rectangle draw a rectangle just make it as gap and then click ok give positions for this gap as minus dollar w i n s by 2 comma dollar l f minus dollar l i n s comma dollar t and x size as dollar w i n s y size as dollar l i n s click ok you can see here a rectangle is created now what we do to create to create the inset let us first select the patch and then the gap just subtract here click ok and afterwards you select patch and then feed you just click on unite you can see now a complete radiating element with feed is created now let us wrap this radiating element with feed onto the substrate to do that select here substrate and click on radiating element right click click on edit go to surface here click on wrap sheet you can see now the radiating element is conformed to the cylindrical substrate let us select this patch right click go to edit click on surface and then thicken sheet here you can enter the value as 0 0.035 millimeters then click ok let us create an excitation port by zooming here selecting the top edge of the feed line going to modeler select here edge and click on create object from the edge here an object is created you just right click select edit click on duplicate here you can click on a long line enter the values here 0 0 minus 1.67 again you enter 0 0 minus 1.67 enter here you can see two objects are created click ok now select the objects and right click select here edit go to surface 
you see here there is an option called connect click on it you can see now a port is created after that right click here select excitation and click on lumped port you can just click next here select the integration line as a new line and here you just draw a line from here to here click next finish similarly select the ground and patch right click go to boundaries and select perfect electric click ok now the boundaries and excitations are assigned to the design finally let us draw a radiation box here by clicking uh, create open region and enter the operating frequency as 2.4 gigahertz click ok a radiation box is created next let us set up the analysis here by clicking on art solution setup so enter the frequency here 2.4 gigahertz number of passes you can give 18 and click ok now right click on the setup one add solution sweep here you select linear count enter start frequency as 2.2 gigahertz and end frequency as 2.6 gigahertz with number of points as 201 click ok now you can just click on this validate option to check for the errors here we are not finding any errors the validation check is completed successfully close this and click on analyze all to run the simulation now the simulation has started and the progress you can see in the bottom as a green bar movement now we can see the simulation is completed and we can plot the results click on results select rectangular plot here and plot s parameters in db you can see here the designed antenna is resonating close to 2.4 gigahertz but it is not resonating exactly at 2.4 gigahertz so we can tune it uh, by following the steps that i have given in one of my previous videos similarly let us plot the radiation fields so for that go to create far field report click on 3d polar plot select here gain and select db click new report you can see here this is the radiation at 2.4 gigahertz that's all in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thank you